Hello everyone, welcome back to Pharmacist Point. Today's video is a quick video on fluoroquinolone antibiotics. Now, fluoroquinolones are available in different generations. More commonly used is ciprofloxacin, gemifloxacin, norfloxacin, delafloxacin, levofloxacin, ofloxacin, moxifloxacin, and prolifloxacin. Now, these drugs show broad-spectrum antimicrobial activity coverage against both gram-negative and gram-positive pathogens. Even though they are having a broad-spectrum activity, drugs like levofloxacin and gemifloxacin are more active against gram-positive pathogens, while drugs like ciprofloxacin and ofloxacin are more useful for gram-negative pathogens. Now, moxifloxacin have coverage for anaerobes. Drug prolifloxacin can cover both gram-positive, gram-negative species, while delafloxacin is a drug which have a good coverage for gram-positive, gram-negative, and atypical respiratory pathogens like Legionella, Mycoplasma, Chlamydia species. Now, fluoroquinolone antibiotics have excellent oral bioavailability. They have good tissue penetration and they have a favorable safety profile and as well as they are also drugs which are tolerable. Fluoroquinolones are reserved for most severe infections like complicated and complicated urinary tract infections, intra-abdominal infections, respiratory infections, skin and soft tissue infections. Now, ciprofloxacin is also used for bone and joint tissue infections. The mechanism of action is that it inhibits type 2 DNA topoisomerases enzyme that is gyrases that are required for synthesis of bacterial mRNAs and DNA replication. So, in simple terms, fluoroquinolones target DNA and replication of the bacteria. Now, these drugs require dose adjustments in renal failure patients and it's completely or it should be avoided in lactating mothers and as well as pregnant women because the risk category is C which means that no controlled studies done in animals or in pregnant women. Now, it's also not recommended to be used in pediatric patients because it can cause muscle disorders as well as it's not preferred in elderly patients. Now, there is a risk for liver injury. Drugs which are known to cause liver injury is ciprofloxacin, moxifloxacin, levofloxacin. Important adverse drug reactions that you should memorize for fluoroquinolone antibiotics is tendonitis, tendon rupture, muscle weakness or muscle cramps. It can also cause GI upset and it is also known to cause psychiatric adverse reactions. There is a risk of psychosis and seizures when you take fluoroquinolone antibiotics. That's all you guys. This was a quick video on fluoroquinolone antibiotics. I hope you got an idea about this classification of drug and I hope this video was informative for everyone. So don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and share this video with your friends thank you have a nice day ahead